My dad ended up living in the streets here in San Diego, you know, still doing drugs and still, you know, putting his time and, and the things that he wanted to do into that. And so, you know, I've seen that, you know what I mean? I've seen that process of, of, of just being tore down and basically being brought down to the bottom, you know what I mean? And the way that um, drugs and uh, starting off at a young age really took a toll on their life, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've seen it, it always led to a dead end, you know what I mean? I would just say, man, I mean, you gotta look around you and you gotta, you gotta definitely look and see what the effects that drugs has on people, you know what I mean? Not only just look around and see if you, if you know anybody that's positive, just because they, you think they might be cool, doesn't mean they're cool at all, you know what I'm saying? I know a billion times more people that are cooler that don't do drugs than people that do drugs, you know what I mean? It just comes down to, to knowing if you got the strength inside, you know what I'm saying? And knowing who, if you wanna have, you know, respect or self-respect for yourself, that's what it comes down to. The thing is, for me, like I never really had peer pressure or like uh, of, of any of my homies saying, hey dude, you need to try this because I had real homies, you know what I'm saying? That, like if, if they even offered that to me and I said no, and then they would, they'll understand straight up. So if you got people that are like telling you, you gotta try this and they're, getting, they're actually like making you feel whack about not doing it, then those ain't your homies anyways. You know what I'm saying? And those are the people you're gonna forget about in, ten, in two or three years from now when you're out of high school or in junior high or whatever. Those guys fall by the wayside. The, the true homies are the ones that you can catch it like a natural high on and you can do those little natural things and, and, and feel the same and feel the same vibe. Those are the homies that stick around. And all my friends that really got into surfing and skating, that was more of an outlet for us to like not get into trouble because we were so consumed. It's like we looked for things to get into that, you know, that didn't hurt ourselves and didn't hurt people around us and, you know, and we were cooler than the people that were doing drugs. We actually called it, uh, dude, I'm on a natural. I'm gonna go catch a natural today, and it was like whether it was surfing or whether it was a little road trip, you know, or jumping on our bikes and just cruising around the town. Those those are the things to me that that definitely I, I know for a fact kept me out of you know ever even wanting to try like drugs or do anything like that because I was just so motivated into to being better at surfing or skating and just finding that that natural that natural flavor. You know what I mean? And I was like, we got older, and the music came, and it was like once we started playing shows, it was like. He didn't want to be whack, so we just rehearsed every single day in our garage. It was like, we didn't have time to party, dude. It was like, I want to try to get this riff down. It just kind of brought me to another path, you know what I mean? And music, you know, especially the kind of music we play, um, there's a lot of aggression, a lot of aggression you get out, and you get to do it all, you know what I mean? So, we, you know, I've been blessed, for sure. There's no doubt about it. Skating with your buddies, just, I think the, the main thing is camaraderie. You gotta be with some bros, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta have a, a group of people that you know enjoy the same thing and... So you just gotta listen to your heart and you know that you're better than that and, you know, why, why do it? If they're tempting you with that stuff, man, they're, they're not the ones for you, they're just tearing you down. It's like you're cool with, without doing it, don't let anybody tell you any different, you know what I mean? If you're hard and you're dope and you're cool and you know it, then you're gonna be able to say no. That's the bottom line.